Alright guys, how is it going? You're watching Visual Intelligence and welcome back to another exciting Cinema 4D tutorial. So this will be a quick tip for you guys working on a really low res screen. Uh, and uh, it's really, uh, I know it's annoying working on a uh, low resolution when using software like Cinema 4D or Adobe software or such uh, that have really a lot tabs, especially, uh, you know, Adobe Illustrator. But uh, in this particular tutorial, I'll be showing you ways to make your uh, layout looks uh, really sufficient uh, for a laptop screen or such. As you can see, I'm recording on 720p and uh, Cinema 4D is minimized. And uh, by default, the layout should be something like that. Uh, by the way, I'm using R15, but uh, it should look similar to that. Uh, and if you can see here, uh, this tools tab it is really full. You cannot add uh, anything to that. So a way to make it uh, a little bit smaller is you, if you right click on any of the icons, go icon size and change it to medium icons. You can see that it looks already um, giving us more space. And what you can do is you can go to window, customization, customize commands. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go to VSR update. And that's just a tool I like. You can go and find it on uh, mesh or tools or whatever. Uh, what I want to do is I want to drag it and drop it onto this uh, tools panel since I really find it useful and I use it a lot. I also use magic solo so let's go ahead and drag that onto uh, this uh, panel maybe our axis center as well and that is looking uh, great so let's uh, quit that um, you can do the same for uh, the right um, tools the modeling tools you can make them look uh, medium and this will help a lot you can go to uh, your uh, materials panel you can go to edit and uh, make the icon size to mini and then you can uh, really make it a little bit smaller and uh, give you more space to work with so now what you can do is you can go to your uh, window you can go to customization and then save the layout you can go save as and save it or you can just Save it locally if you go to layout and then um, log layout or save as startup layout and this will uh, make the layout uh, your default whenever Cinema 4D started. So let's go ahead and go to window customization and uh, save layout as. Let's uh, do a visual intelligence since I'm going to be giving that away if you want it. Save it on our desktop and uh, let's go and uh, go back to our startup layout. So now if you go to window, go to customization, go to layout, go to load layout, you can uh, load up the texture that I just saved which is really handy. So there you go. That's my quick tip on how to uh, work efficiently in a low res screen as well as how to save and import layouts in Cinema 4D. Hope that helped anyone out. Make sure to drop a comment, ask uh, any question you guys like and I'll make sure to answer every comment. And um, like the video, share, subscribe, whatever and see you guys next week.